last time But you keep coming back to tell me Sorry that you take back All the things you said Just Hello everyone! My name is Sakura and I'm based in Tokyo. Okaeri or welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you all of the items that I thrifted to refresh my winter wardrobe this year. As I transitioned to a more timeless, versatile, and long-lasting wardrobe, I added several basic knit tops and cardigans, pants, outer, and some shoes. And I focused on buying secondhand exclusively this year to save some money and also in an effort to just be a little bit more intentionally sustainable where I can. I'm actually quite new to thrifting and I've just gotten to know the tip of the iceberg of some of the best spots in Tokyo. So in this video, I'll also share some of the popular Japanese brands that I bought from as well as which thrift stores I got them from. So let's get started. So this first piece here, I saw this sitting on the rack and I knew instantly that I was going to buy it. And this is probably the piece that I wore the most at home this year. So this cardigan is from an extremely popular Japanese brand called Beams. I believe the specific line is Beaming by Beams. So this brand combines kind of this very trendy but really classic cool aesthetic together. What really caught my attention with this cardigan is this unique color combination of black, white, and brown because as you can already tell probably, I'm a big big neutrals fan so I can match it with so many items that I already have. What I also love about this is the vertical and horizontal lines on this that play a little bit with your eyes and it adds that you know, little magical spice of making it not as boring. I also love the big bold black lines on the edges. The line directions and the belt tie to kind of cinch my waist is super essential for help shaping my body in the winter on a thick clothing item like this. So I'm really guilty of collecting turtlenecks and this one was definitely no exception. For each season, I found that choosing one accent color on top of the neutral basics that I have helps add a minimal but cohesive style to my wardrobe and apparently for winter, I chose brown. So I got this classic warm brown turtleneck and I chose it because of the thickness and the small detail on the back. This piece is from Nano Universe and it is made from extra fine merino wool. Nano Universe is also a quite popular brand here in Japan and I describe it as sort of like an elevated and trendier Uniqlo. It has classical pieces but with more of a modern fit and style but the price point isn't too much higher. The material is actually quite soft but thick and sturdy and there's a small vertical line, I don't know if you can actually see it, that goes down the back that I just thought was a really beautiful touch. I like pairing this with simple trousers or jeans for a casual look. Next, I have this white knit oversized cardigan. I've been on the hunt for quite a while for a white knit cardigan like this and I just really really like the detailing of this one. Even though this is second hand, I thought it was in pretty good shape and I use this a lot when I want to layer tops. So this brand is called Lugnenkure which I honestly have actually never heard of before. A classic white cardigan is an essential staple in honestly any closet so I'm really happy to have this piece. Also, just the details of these brown buttons and just the knit part, I think is just super duper cozy. Next is another item from Nano Universe. It's this really thick, structured, long knit top. I chose this one because sometimes I just really can't be bothered to be wearing pants and I wanted a longer top that I'd also be able to wear with leggings and boots on my lazy days. Again, I'm just a really big fan of when knits have a really nice simple pattern, so I love that detail. And of course, with this belt tie, it really appealed to me because it's not only warm when I layer it with, for example, like a unicorn heat texture, but again, I was able to kind of cinch my waist and give me a little bit of shape when I need it. This top is one of my actually favorite lingerie right now at home. It's a very simple knit, more of a cool tone brown top by the brand Green Label Relaxing. This brand is under the umbrella brand called United Arrows, which I literally see everywhere in Japan. And I was happy to find this piece for cheap because their brand is not very cheap. My main reason for purchasing this sweater is because of the comfort and the softness, and I just knew I'd be wearing it all the time casually. 
It's also nice that it's a bit oversized too to give it more of a cozy look. And I'd also love to wear this with, again, no surprise, but a turtleneck. Now this dress right here is one of the best finds ever so far for me because when I bought it, it even still had a tag on it, which is kind of surprising. So it's a brand new dress and then I was even more impressed because it was actually from the brand called Journal Standard. Journal Standard is one of those brands that I kind of admire from afar because it looks so beautiful the store itself and also the clothing, but it is really pricey in my opinion. So this was such a steal. This long dress had some beautiful pleats which sort of elongates my body vertically and since it buttons all the way down, I can also wear it as a long cardigan. When I first came to Japan, I saw so many women in Tokyo wear these long dresses which I thought looked a little bit too conservative for my taste but as time went on and also as I get older, I kind of find these dresses very elegant so I was happy to kind of add this one to my closet. Now that we covered the tops, now let's move on to the pants. So the first pair. You know that if you find a pair of Levi's that fit you at a thrift shop, the thrifting gods were looking over you. So on my lucky day, I found these ribcage straight ankle jeans that were a tad big on me, but perfect with a belt and also some tucked in tops. To be honest, I really hate wearing jeans and I just find them so uncomfortable even if they look amazing but the last few years, I've come across or intentionally tried to find a few pairs that I accept and love, and this is one of them. I highly recommend buying Levi's secondhand, not only for the price, obviously, this was only like a few thousand yen, but also the fact that worn-in jeans are just so much more comfortable, and you don't have to worry about it if it's going to stretch or if it's going to fit, because it's already pre-loved. These jeans really do have this vintage look to them in terms of style, but I find them quite easy to pair with pretty much anything that I wear into winter. The shape, fit, color, and the size were absolutely perfect for what I was looking for, and I am keeping this gem for as long as I can wear it. The second pair of pants that I have here is by the brand called Gallery Vie. Honestly, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and I've never heard of this brand before. So I got these neutral, cool-toned, corduroy looking straight leg trousers and I'll be honest this was more of an impulse buy just because the fit of it was just really perfect but honestly when I look back on it the wear on this is quite more noticeable than the other ones but hey it's over and done with so no regrets. I wanted another staple pair of pants that I could wear that were not jeans because like I said I really hate most denim so this was a really good excuse for me to buy a good pair of pants that were not jeans. <laughs> So this brand actually, when I looked it up, I found out that it was under the umbrella company called Tomorrowland, which is another huge and loved brand here in Japan. I actually took a look at their website and dang, everything was like pretty expensive. So I definitely got a steal. And I did like their tagline of the essence of elegance is simplicity, which is kind of like what I go for in my closet nowadays. Whenever I wear this, I do feel a little bit like a teddy bear and also a grandpa, but honestly, that's kind of my look nowadays, so I embrace it. I love wearing this with the white cardigan that I got and also with the neutral top. Now let's move on to the outerwear. So this is another piece that I saw on the shelf and I immediately knew I was going to buy it. I also love that this was like only 800 yen and this is from the brand called Free Smart. So I chose another corduroy bear looking brown type, <laughs> which seems to be a kind of a common theme here. And it's an oversized layering jacket. This outfit I'm wearing here with the black on black was what I wore pretty much shamelessly every single week. I'm one of those people who love specific outfits and wear them all the time. On this jacket, I love the big buttons and I also like that the bottom is curved a little bit like a normal shirt. I think since it's oversized, a non-curved bottom would make it a little bit too boxy for my taste. The only thing is, I did wish it has pockets. So surprisingly, out of all of these items that I'm showing you here today, this was one of the most expensive, around 5,000 yen, and this is from Gap. Even more surprising was that I even chose this vest. So I wanted a vest because the weather can sometimes be a little bit too warm in the afternoon for a down jacket, but cold at night here. So a vest is actually a quite practical piece in Tokyo. I decided to get this fluffy faux fur vest to kind of make it a statement piece for when I go out. 
It's really not something that I usually go for, but you know, I like to spice it up a little bit by adding something like this, so that's why I got it. You probably can't see it, but it does have small hooks in the front so that technically you can close it. Last but not least, let's talk about these pairs of shoes that I got. I bought these beautiful pair of black leather lace-up boots by the brand Echo. I've actually been eyeing Echo for a really long time, but have been hindered traditionally by the prices. So imagine my happiness when I saw these classic pair for like 5,000 yen, which is about, I don't know, I'm gonna guess maybe one fifth of the normal price and in my size. In retrospect, I was looking for a pair of black boots like this, but with a little bit more of a chunkier heel. So I'm not sure if I made the right decision mid to long term, but I really do still love these shoes because they're comfortable, they're beautiful, and they are made of good quality leather. The wear on this was really minimal, and it is so incredibly easy to style that I wore this quite a lot during the fall and the winter. Alright, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I would love to hear your thoughts on which piece was your favorite or if you have any recommended brands that are Japanese, I would also love to know what other people are wearing. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you so much again and hope to see you in my next video.